29. Parliament is investigating the deal by Kenya Airways to take over operations at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Kenya Airport's Authority Chief Executive Officer Johnny Anderson says the takeover bid followed a cabinet proposal in May last year. Come October, Kenya Airways presented its proposal to Kenya Airport's Authority seeking to manage operations at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The government gave $4 billion to Kenya Airways, but unfortunately when you look at the shareholding, it has not changed. So it will be indeed important maybe to call the Nairobi Stock Exchange because Kenya Airways is a public entity. No decision has been made. We have just done the due diligence and and then we will uh, compare it and, and, uh, and, and look at the proposal to come up with a fact-based opinion about the transaction. Just tell us, what has KPMG said in that report? Are they giving you the go-ahead or are they telling you that this is a bad deal? K uh, KPMG is hiding a lot of gaps in the proposal that has been uh, put on the table. And I do not understand the, 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 the logistics that, they, that, that uh, uh, Cabinet, Treasury and your Prime Ministry have used in this. We know the history of all these things, the way they're yes. happening. There's pressure from the government, and then there's pressure from KQ. And what is hurting most is that KQ, the larger percentage of the shares is owned by KLM, which is a, which is a, which, 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 which is a foreign entity. Appearing as a friend of the committee, Nandi Hills MP Alfred Keter raised a red flag on a possible conflict of interest in the planned takeover bid. The chairman K uh -huh, is the same person who is the CEO and the MD of the two NIC bank and CBA bank which have been matched. KQ owes NIC and CBA 5 billion Kenya cities. Okay. So chair, the immoral issues here uh, that um, there is conflict of interest. There is conflict of interest. Probably we the chair. Will, we will definitely have to call in the chair. Of yeah, the, yeah. Uh, Probably the chair has realized Kenya Airways has no capacity to solve out the loans. So they want to match and uh, use some other shortcuts, illegal means to solve out the loans. Chairman and board members should also come before this committee. Having said that, we should also request for any document related uh, to this uh, uh, proposal be shared with this committee, including the feasibility study. The Kenya Aviation Workers Union has filed a constitutional petition to stop the planned takeover of JKIA by Kenya Airways. The union questioned the feasibility of the plan to hand over JKIA to the national carrier, given that Kenya Airways owes Kenya Airports Authority nearly 4 billion shillings. How much does K? KQ or KAA. When it comes to the debt, yes, Kenya Airport, uh, sorry, Kenya Airways uh, owed us at the end of 2018 in December 3.8 billion shillings. You are seriously considering transacting with a company that has to pay you 3.8 billion? If I may, Chair, yes. this is of course part of the what can I say, gaps we are putting up in our so-called negotiation criteria. JKIA is the most profitable airport in Kenya that accounts for 90% of KAS revenue stream estimated at 7 billion shillings annually. Patrick Amimo, KTA News.